Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about how you can fix the Arduino port access denied error that will show up here when you try and upload a sketch to either an unrecognized Arduino board, such as one of these that's Arduino compatible, but not necessarily an Arduino chip. Or I also tried this Spark Fun red board. This one also had the same exact error. So it kept saying here, port access denied, and I tried troubleshooting for five hours, and I went through Arduino forums for help. That didn't work either. What you need to do, if you're trying to make this work on a Windows computer, go to Control Panel. And so you can do that by pulling up the uh, bar here, Control Panel. You can also search for Control Panel. Then you go to Windows Defender Firewall, and you need to turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. So you turn Windows Defender Firewall off. Then you can go to Advanced Settings, I think it is, and you can go up here to Action. I've already created one for inbound rules to allow port access. Basically though, to create a new action here, you have to turn off the Windows Defender firewall. Otherwise it won't actually let you edit this. So then you can go to new rule under action here. Once Defender firewall is off, and you can say here, what would you like to create? So a program, a rule that controls. What I did is you select port. And I just did TCP and then all local ports. Instead of, you could do specific ports if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna allow it access to all the ports. And then here, allow the connection. Because firewall kept preventing the connection and it would make all these annoying errors. Allow connection. You could turn this one on, but then you allow firewall to decide whether or not if it's secure and whatever. So just make sure that your chips are something that you trust. Don't allow some sketchy Chinese board that you bought on eBay through your firewall because that might contain a virus. And then you can check here, where does this apply? So you can check just all these different boxes so it'll allow it. And then you can type your name of your program and you can type a description if you want and then finish and it'll save it to your firewall. So I just did for mine, allow port access as the name. Then after that, you can go and turn window, Windows uh, Firewall back on. And now if we go back into advanced security, advanced settings, I think, uh, let's see. So see now under action, you can no longer select make a new rule because stupid Windows firewall. So yeah, and now allow port access is still in there because we turned off the firewall so we could make this rule and then we put the firewall back up. So the firewall is there to help protect your computer, but this is now able to allow Arduino IDE to have port access and not have Windows firewall get in the way. So now if you plug in one of these chips that normally would be having an issue connecting it's a bit hard to plug in a uh, chip and hold the camera at the same time. But anyway, 
There's one of those sketchy chips that... Now you can go ahead and select the port. It's already automatically selected, but otherwise you'd have to make sure your port is selected and the type of chip it is. And then compiling sketch, uploading, and then eventually it'll say done uploading. So now I was able to finally get my NeoPixels here to work after five hours of trying to get that sketchy chip there to work, but it's basically Windows Firewall that's blocking it because it kept saying it's an unrecognized device. You can also go down to uh, Windows Device Manager. Uh, If you go here to Universal Bus Controllers, it kept ranking the chip there as an unrecognized device and it had a little error that would pop up. Right now it's not gonna do it for me, but Basically, it's one of these. I don't honestly know which one it is right now. But Windows Firewall kept blocking it and saying that it is an unrecognized device. So now that we made that rule to allow port access, though, I haven't had any other issues. So I hope this video helps. I apologize for not having a screen recorder to be able to do a fancier video. But this does, I think, help a lot. So anyway, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this, just let me know. I'm happy to help troubleshoot with you. Um, anyway, thanks for watching and be sure to check out the other videos on my channel.